to create an orthodontic or surgical simulation and treatment prediction, we start from an analysis. We are put into the VTO environment. The canvas looks pretty much the same as in the analysis environment. And by default, uh, we see some tissue and some planes. If we move a mouse across the tissue, it highlights in cyan color, but not just element by element, the entire group consisting from several elements highlights. I can sell, uh, highlight uh, frontal part of mandible, of maxilla, I can highlight incisor or a chin. I can highlight entire uh, mandible as well, or entire maxilla. If we move the tissue, two analyses are visible. The initial one, which is in gray color and cannot be moved, and the green, which is an exact copy of the initial one before any movement is done. With movement, automatically a delta box appears, which measures the re relative distance of moved tissue versus the static tissue. We can grab it and move it to a better position if necessary. To fine tune the movement, we can double click to a delta box. A dialog opens and offers manual change to X, Y direction or rotation. There is also a reset button, uh, which brings the tissue back to its origo. We can also change some settings uh, of the delta box. So font size of the font. And now I'm going to do some, uh, some movements of the tissue from this uh, box. Rotation can be done manually as well. There is a mannequin and by steering that mannequin I can uh, make the rotation. Movements can be done on maxilla as well, so I can move it into a certain position. We can notice that there has been a change in soft tissue profile as well. Depending on the surgery technique, tissue rigidity, scale of the surgery and other, it is hard to predict exact changes. But the system will offer the prediction according to the treatment selected. It is great to be able to manip manipulate the expected change interactively here. So I can zoom in, I can grab the point and put it into a desired, into a desired position. Now we would like to see how the patient will look after the treatment. So we have an option to put a lateral image uh, to the uh, prediction. And I'm going to choose that lateral image. And it is put on canvas, but it is too big. It does not fit and it is not rotated properly. I have a lollipop here and I put a red dot of that lollipop, which happens to be a center of rotation uh, to a prominent and easy to trace point, for example, tip of the nose. Now I'm going to move tip of the nose to the tip of the nose, zoom out a little bit and place the image on that tracing. When we are satisfied, we can do the calculation of the predicted profile. So the calculation is done. What I have here is some 
preset view states available. So I can say, okay, I want to have both tracing, I want to have here an X-ray, I want to have a present image uh, on, on both tracing or present uh, actually analysis and present image or simulation and present image or I just want to have here uh, present image and there is a prediction image. We can always add some additional measurements to our plan. Switch on measurement boxes, show wiggle charge. There is the same structure of layers in analysis and its copy, which is actually a treatment plan. It means that if I switch on a certain layer from a treatment plan, for example, measurement boxes, and I move my tissue, measurement boxes will uh, change because the dimensions are changing. I can also switch on a uh, wiggle chart and I can switch on a wiggle chart in uh, here as well and please note both wiggle charts one on top of each other. What I can do here as is also that I can create measurements for example of an angle And this is additional element uh, which we want to have on our exact treatment plan. I can also create measurements of distances between the points of uh, one um, of initial analysis and the treatment plan. So all the options are, are available here. If we move the tissue again the measurement will change. We can also make a, 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 a distance measurement from here to here and play with other geometry and with other elements. Any number of predictions can be generated from an existing analysis.